and welcome, this is Agent XP and today I'm going to show you a number of useful websites that you might want to refer to if you are looking to get started with the Tomb Raider level editor. This includes a number of places you can go to download the editor itself, but it also includes a number of extra programs that will be very useful to you should you decide to start using the level editor. We're going to start off here at Tomb Raider forums. But once you get started with the level editor, this is a great place to come if you have any questions or get stuck with anything. But we're going to start by showing you where you can go to actually download the TRLE itself. So we want to click on this tab here, Tomb Raider Level Editor Tutorials, and go to the Tutorials, Tools and Resources Index. Scroll down and um, Tools and Resources has its own thread. We're going to click on that. And scroll down. and you come to this section called Tools and here you can click on TRLE which will give you a download to the original TRLE zip folder. So when you download this, unzip it and follow the setup. We also have here links to the TRNG which is a fan updated version of the original level editor. Now this has extra features such as taking higher resolution textures and more complex scripting, higher resolution objects, that sort of thing. So you are probably going to want to install that but I would recommend if you're just starting out taking a look at the original first. Now we're going to go back to the tutorials section. So once you've downloaded the TRLE, this section of the forum has a whole range of different tutorials for different things that you can make with the editor. Um, there is a section here, if you scroll down just from the top, there is a section on installing the level editor, very useful if you're just starting out. Um, if you scroll further down here you have tutorials on the room design and um, so on and so forth. You have texturing, you have um, object setups, all that sort of thing and it's really worth just coming here and having a browse and seeing what tutorials are available. Now another place that I tend to use a lot for level editor tutorials and somewhere else you can also download the TRLE is treditor.hu so you come to this site and if you want to download the level editor from this site you come to tools click on it scroll down and we have here the TRLE so there are slightly less steps to go through on this site if you want to get your hands on the TRLE and you just click on that and it will give you a download link and also a link to the TRNG is provided here as well. So again this site is full of a whole host of useful things that you're going to want if you're starting out with the TRLE. I'm going to go through a couple of tools that I personally use in order to compile my levels. Now if you start out with a basic WAD and texture set you won't need these but when you start getting slightly more involved with the level editor and you start wanting to make your own texture set and your own object WAD then some of these programs will really come in useful. So if you look further down this page you have the TRLE at the top and we have a couple of useful resources here. Now the first one of these is T-Builder. This is what I use to compile my texture sets. This is a really easy to use program that will let you compile a custom texture set for your level. So if you are wanting to make your own custom texture set, it might even just be you want to combine two of the original texture sets then this is the program you're going to want to use and it's really easy to use it requires little explanation another thing you are going to want to download is the revised wads which is here on the bottom right hand side now this is a slight oddity because for some reason when Core Design packaged up the original TRLE editor 
They did not include all of Lara's animations in all of the object world files. So if, for example, you decide to use, say, the Karnak ward to base your first level off, and you want to make a ladder, when you place the ladder in your level, and go to climb it in game, Lara will come up with this really weird animation and she won't climb the ladder properly. And this is because Core Design omitted to include all of Lara's animations in all of the original wads. And for example, the Karnak wad does not include the ladder climbing animation. Now, if you want to fix this, I recommend downloading this along with the original editor. And you literally unzip it and copy these revised wads into your graphics folder of the TRLE. Just literally unzip these, copy them into the graphics folder and overwrite the ones that are there already. And Lara's animations should then be fixed when you compile your level. So this is something you're going to want to do before you start using the TRLE if you want all of Lara's animations to work. You can still build your level and test it without this, but you may get Lara acting a little weird when doing certain animations. Another really, really invaluable tool is this thing called the mouse patch. If you download this mouse patch and unzip it and follow the setup instructions, which are really easy, then it will allow you to use your middle mouse wheel to move around your level and this makes navigating the TRLE window so much easier because it allows the middle mouse wheel to be used. I'll demonstrate here. So if you hold down Alt and the middle mouse wheel you can move the editor view from side to side and it just allows you to get so much closer to what you're working on in the room and it, it is so useful. I don't know how I would manage without it now. So, if you're looking to download the next-gen level editor for higher resolution textures and objects and a whole range of custom scripting, then this is a good place to come. This is the Tomb Raider next-gen website and you can see here the most recent edition of this is MK5 and if you want to download it, literally click on it. If you want a guide to setting this up, a good place to come is back here to treditor.hu. Come here to the manual section and there is a tab with NGLE installation. And if you scroll down to the Windows 7 section and follow this setup, it will guide you through the setup process for the next gen level editor. Now this is for a slightly older version than we currently have, but I still refer to this if I'm reinstalling from scratch. So we come back here to the Next Gen Level Editor site, and another useful link here is the WAD Merger program. Now this program allows you to create custom object sets for your level. And this is incredibly useful if you want to create anything that's different to the custom wards that you get given when you start out. So if you want to make a jungle level for example or a snowy level, the original wards that you are given when you download the level editor don't really facilitate creating anything other than an Egyptian level. So if you want to add a new outfit for Lara or anything to your ward, then this is the program you are going to want to download. If you start making custom wards for your levels, something you are going to want to do is access an object library of objects that you might want to add to your levels. So a really good place to come to do this is trsearch.org. Now currently the site is in an archived version because it's being updated. So nothing new is being added to the site, but there is a whole archive of objects available from years of people making objects and there are literally hundreds of custom objects on here. You start out on the main page, uh, there is a search bar, it's a little bit ropey, hopefully that is getting updated in the final version, but a good way to start is if for example you want an outfit, come to the outfits tab on the left and you can just click on outfits and it will give you all the outfits that have ever been made so you can see like these numbers at the top each of those is a page so there are 
105 pages of outfits currently and each page has 10 on it. So that gives you an idea of quite how many outfits have been made for the TRLE. Um, the, generally the most popular ones tend to be at the top because they're organised by rating and then those that haven't been rated so the newest will be at the end. So if we go to the last page we will get these. Uh, these were the most recent outfits to be added before the site was taken down for rebuilding. So um, when I say taken down, it's still accessible, you can still download all of these, but they're archived, so nothing else is being added currently. But hopefully that should change very soon. So if you want an outfit, that's how to find it. So if we want objects, then click on the objects tab. This will give you a page of objects. The most popular are at the top, the newest are at the end, and you can see here from all these numbers, all of these is a page with objects on it. I don't even know if it shows all of them. Yes, it does, there's 201 altogether. So the most recent thing to be released was this lion statue. And um, just because it's not been rated doesn't mean that it's rubbish. It's in fact a really good object because I've seen it. And you can have a bigger preview here if you click on it. And if you want to download it, then you click on the download and it will give you a zip file with the object in it and you can add this to your object ward using the ward merger program that I showed you earlier. So that's outfits and objects. We also have wards which are entire packs of objects whereas the objects tab is just individual objects. So this can be a good place to start if you're looking to put together an entire object ward. So if you want a Maria Doria level for example, there is a whole set of objects for that genre right here. That can be a good starting point. If you want textures, there is a tab for that as well and it follows a similar principle to all the other pages. We have all the pages you can access here and it can be a good idea. I quite often get inspiration for levels by just literally scrolling through these pages and seeing what's been released. Another place you can go to download custom objects is laraslevelbase.org. If you go to level base stuff here on the left in quick links, this website is another alternative to TR Search. This is another database holding custom objects and textures. It's not that easy to search, but I quite like to just browse. Say for example, if you want statics, select static and just press on search. And similar to TR Search, if you scroll to the bottom here, you will have numbers for all the pages. And you have, similar to TR Search, you have a number of objects per page, you can see the picture of the object, and just scroll through and have a browse. You can do the same for wards. Press search and it will come up with all the wards that have been released. Scroll down and you can see the total number of pages. So there are that many pages worth of wards released. And we can also do the same for textures and also tools. So if we do this, this for tools, then it will come up with a range of useful programs and patches for things. Some of these are probably outdated if we go further back but some of them are very useful so it's worth reading the description and seeing if it's something that might be useful and it's worth checking that it would work with the version of the TRLE that you're using especially if you're using TRNG. So I hope you find at least some of the websites and tools shared in this video useful if you're starting out with the TRLE. If you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and leaving a like and let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see in future videos. This is Agent XP and see you next time. TTFN.